so don't mind my looks um i worked two 12-hour shifts over the weekend i'm tired but i still managed to find time to film a video also don't worry about the darkness um i don't know why it's so dark or the noise in the background i'm watching dance moms because i cannot work in silence however to the point i bought myself a new toy art wise on amazon two new toys and it's this pack of and yes it's already open because i use them to swatch them um i have not worked with them yet art wise but i have used them to swatch them but i got the 72 pack of silly scented crayola twistables and on one side they have the twistable crayons and then on the other side they have the twistable color pencils and then these came with the pack i don't think i paid extra for these but they're a pack of 96 crayons just regular crayons so I figured with that I could do a Crayola challenge type of video. You know, if one doesn't work, then the other one will. Like, I'm excited for these. I've already been working on this picture of uh, Eeyore. I just started working on it. And so, I just finished filming my Inktober series. But, yeah, I just, I've been working on this picture of Eeyore. And, uh... The only thing I've got done so far is the drawing and inking process, and I just used a, bit, a basic um, mechanical pencil to draw with, and a fine liner from Five Below, and a Sharpie to ink. And then I used a photo reference from Pinterest on my phone to do the drawing. So, I mean, you're not actually going to be able to get to see what I'm drawing, but I will hold it up periodically throughout the video. So. Like a dark blue. I don't know about this idea about putting real money on these costumes. I want to smell this one. They're the silly scented ones. Mmm, I don't know. That color blue. I think this is like season three of Dance Moms, if I'm not mistaken. I can't work in silence. Sorry, I've tried and I just I can't. Okay, so first impressions. Um, so far they're very smooth. I like them. They're obviously made for children to make art, you know, to color with. But I thought they would be fun to do for the Crayola Challenge, which I know has been going around for a long time now, but I am new to the art community, so a lot of these challenges, like, I literally just found out about. Okay, a speakeasy also yeah, I like these so far. They're very smooth. They go down very smoothly. Uh, but I mean, I'm using my mixed media paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. But, you know, even if you are using cheap paper like I've used, I've used paper from the Dollar General like this to draw on before. So, like, even if you use the cheaper paper you can still make decent art with it okay so i'm going to see if i can find a darker blue in these regular crayons surely out of 96 crayons i can find a dark blue So why were you answering 
Sorry, I'm trying to find a dark blue. I'll try to go for this one and see how well they layer. See if they play nicely with a uh, basic Crayola crayon. I will say they layer on top of each other pretty decently. I mean, they're not horrible. Are they the best art supplies? No. But they're not horrible either. sketchbook from the Dollar General that I got a while back ago. Um, I'm seeing how well they hold up on cheaper paper because they're not horrible so far. I hate ads whenever I'm trying to watch something. I'm gonna have to sit up here. Sorry if that was too much of a close up. Y'all cannot even see me at all. Hey, you can see my paper a little bit. You can actually see what I'm drawing if I angle it down that way. But it's, yeah, they're not horrible so far. I mean, could they be better? Yes. But they're not, I mean, they're not horrible. I'm like, 
I like these so far. For something that's supposed to be a child's art supplies, these are not terrible to work with at all. They're smooth. They lay down smoothly. They color smoothly. I mean, I don't know what more I can ask for. Like, I literally have no complaints yet. So I think I'm going to pick another shade of blue also to go over that first layer. I kind of want to use this light blue. Maybe it could have worked. Um, and I know this is going to sound probably like a track on repeat, but I like these. They go on smoothly. Um, they layer fairly decently. Do they layer quite as good as color pencil? No, but they're not color pencils. They're crayons. Yeah, the, these are not horrible, so. Twistable, silly scented crayons from Amazon. Steel. I will probably be using these in my videos more often, especially if I want to just, you know, I don't really care how, you know, I obviously want it to look good, but I don't really care how it turns out. Sorry, my, it kind of paused there for a minute, my camera, and I was like, I swear if you shut off when I'm in the, because I have the worst look when I'm filming, I really do. So yeah, I like these so far, they're not terrible. Yes, I'm wearing pajamas. Like I said, I'm exhausted. And I'm not going anywhere today anyways. My mom has my car. This is just the peach color. Yeah. I was like a distributor and I'm having a bad time. Why? 
Sorry, I had to see what that peach one smelled like. And then the skinnier ones, these are the color pencils. Ooh, I like the colored pencils. I like that color blue. So are they amazing? Uh, no. But I do like them and you know, can you make decent art using you know, cheaper products? Yes. How do you think I started out? Like I literally started out using school supplies, like yeah. I got really interested in art and I got money to buy my own art supplies whenever I started working and you know people they knew that I liked to draw and stuff so they would get me like sketchbooks and like that type of stuff for birthdays and Christmases and things like that but um yeah you can make decent art using cheaper supplies I mean is this amazing art no is it my best art no but is it decent enough to say that you know you can do it using any type of art supplies like, I can recall whenever I was in school, like, if we would get out early or whatever, um, sitting in my mom's office, because whenever I was younger, you know, I was too old to have a babysitter, but, um, I wasn't quite old enough to stay home by myself, so, like, when school would let out early, I was probably about 10. And, um, school would let out early sometimes, or my mom would come pick me up from school early sometimes, and I would have to sit in her office sometimes until, um, school would let out, and I can recall sitting there drawing with printer paper and a pencil and coloring with highlighters, like, it's, you don't necessarily have to have expensive supplies to make art. The only bad thing about the color pencil version of this is every time I use just a little bit of pressure, because I'm very heavy handed, but I'm like, I'm not even using that much pressure, but, okay, well, it just made me out to be a liar, because now I'm pressing down really hard. I was going to say, every time I use a little bit of pressure, it breaks, but it just made me out to be a liar. But, yeah, I am. I like these.
So here is the finished product. I don't know if you guys got to see it all. Um, you know, I like it so far. Like, had I taken more time with it, it could have been better. But, you know, it is what it is. I like it so far. Um, I will definitely be using these in more future videos. And I will be using these in more future videos. Because... I really like it. I might do a drawing where I only use crayon, but technically these are crayons. They're just the twistable kind. Anyways, I just wanted to say I wanted to do the Crayola challenge and I wanted to say, yes, you can make decent art using cheaper supplies. It doesn't matter what type of supplies you use. Um, sorry if I sound exhausted in this video. Not as peppy as I normally sound. It's because I am exhausted, but... I haven't filmed since I did my last Inktober because I've been in kind of an art blog, not really knowing what to draw. And then I got these in the mail, so I figured I would do a drawing using these. I might film me doing another drawing where I can use like more blending and shading techniques because there wasn't very many in that. But anyways, if you want to see that, feel free to like and subscribe. Until next time, see you later.